talking about the economic outlook uh, in 2019, and we started with a global uh, economic outlook, we went to Africa economic outlook, and we also spoke about the Africa, uh, sorry, the Kenya economic outlook. And today I just want to pose a question to our, uh, our good host, Jared Osoro. Uh, if he had one billion shilling, one billion dollars in 2019, where would he allocate it? Stay tuned in. Stay tuned in. My name is Pius Mushiru Mugo, the Managing Director of Nabo Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa. So Jared, mm. I've already popped out the question. You are where would you allocate one billion dollars if you are if you had it today in 2019? If I had that billion uh, dollars yes. today, yes. I'll not be having this conversation with you. <laughs> I'll be on holiday somewhere uh, <laughs> as I think on what to do with it. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, uh, more seriously, um, uh, if I had uh, such a kind of a resource, I'll take a very, very long term view uh, insofar as investment is concerned. Mm -hmm. And if I was to deploy those resources uh, in the country, mm -hmm. uh, it simply means that, you know, by the time you are your net worth is that much. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a man who is not one thing so far as the basics are concerned. Mm -hmm. So I'll want to have an investment mm -hmm. in areas where it has a huge impact mm -hmm. from a socioeconomic standpoint. Mm -hmm. I'll start seeing how it can be deployed, for instance, to mm -hmm. start seeing that our agricultural sector realizes its full potential. Mm -hmm. Because that's one area that not only makes economic sense, mm -hmm. that not only makes social sense, mm -hmm. but it can make business sense. Mm -hmm. uh, business in agriculture. Mm -hmm. uh, can do with um, quite a bit of uh, mm. financial support. Yeah. The other is really uh, intervening in uh, public good oriented uh, uh, infrastructure investments mm. Mm. with a private sector leaning, meaning therefore that you, know, you invest in areas mm. where you're looking at the re recourse to those investments in yes. a manner that does not necessarily go to your bottom line, yes. but go towards supporting um, supporting uh, uh, the economy. Yes. And there's a lot of opportunity here. We yes. have seen a lot of interest in people investing in clean energy, uh, be it wind and all that, mm -hmm. which has a lot of commercial potential, but it has huge, huge potential for the economy. Yes. So I'll essentially look for uh, those areas yes. that will have a socioeconomic impact, yes. but with a reasonable return. Yes. Because usually, I mean, if you have that kind of money, you probably are looking at the best possible return. Yes. That best possible return need not necessarily be a financial Financial return. Yes. It can be an economic return. Yes. It can be a social return. Yes. And I look at the return uh, from a broader context. Yes. Yeah. Give it. Give. Give me the money first. Yes. Yeah. And then we'll uh, find where it goes. Yes. So you've mentioned agriculture, and yeah. you've also mentioned infrastructure. Yes. And I was just wondering, in terms of country allocation, mm -hmm. where would you be investing in agriculture? Would it be agriculture in East Africa? Agriculture in West Africa? Uh, There's a lot of potential in agriculture in East Africa. Yes. And I think uh, if that's the quantum of money that, uh, that you're looking at, uh, you can see uh, my leaning towards allocating a big chunk of it in East Africa. Yes. But I think for purposes of uh, risk diversification, yes. you look at a number of, uh, a number of uh, economies that actually have um, a potential to invest in that. Yes. We've had, um, uh, we've always had a thriving commercial agriculture in the southern part of Africa. Yes. But I think, unfortunately, the political uh, economic considerations yes. has made uh, many investors, especially foreign investors, yes. who don't look in that direction. Yes. And that therefore means that uh, given that in East Africa we don't have those kind of challenges, yes. I think it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a better destination to deploy those resources. Yes. And obviously I have a bias because yes. I'm, um, I'm an East African, so yes. uh, if you want to create an impact, yes. uh, where else do you want to create it other than yes. closer home? Closer home. Yeah. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, I was just uh, wondering, uh, given your financial background, mm -hmm. and there has been a lot of investment in the fintech space. Mm -hmm. Would you want to touch on that? Uh, I won't touch on that. Yeah. I'll let others uh, touch on that because okay. I think uh, there is over deployment okay. of intellectual energy and financial resources I see. towards that segment. I see. Uh, that segment can only make sense yes. if it's deployed in other sectors. I see. And those sectors must also be supported financially yes. if that fintech and uh, technology investment yes. Uh, yes. has to make sense. Okay. So that's why I let those who want to invest in that okay. area do so. Okay. And I'll focus in areas where I think uh, okay. my, 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 comfort, okay. my comfort is. Okay. Yeah. So Jared has answered the question. Jared would be right in the real economy where he will not just experience return but also impact. Thank you for watching. My name is Pius Mushirimugo, the Managing Director of Noble Capital, and you're watching Invest in Africa.